guys. Well, good afternoon. Um, I'd just like to start today's video. I'm trying to talk a little loud here. I have my truck warming up. Can get away from it, maybe. I'd like to start today's video, and uh, as of today, uh, just when I'm recording this, PA Farms is at 1,011 subscribers, and uh, it's a, a pretty nice milestone to, to get to this point. Um, I look back, I went back and looked to see when my first video was posted, and it was back in June 11th, I think, was the very first video I posted, and it was the 685 here, and the uh, New Holland hay bine, I was mowing first cutting hay. Um, a couple of my very early videos, I did not uh, do any talking or anything. It was just uh, clips of the uh, equipment running. So, um, then uh, I started uh, narrating a little bit and uh, slowly worked my way up into a, a daily vlog here of uh, videos. So, I want to thank everybody. I definitely want to thank everybody and say thank you um, to all the subscribers, to all the viewers, uh, everybody that likes, everybody that comments. I know I have regular commenters that uh, comment on the videos. I really enjoy your comments. I like to thank the people who aren't subscribed but still watch. Um, so a neat thing, some of the analytics that uh, I can go back and review and look at uh, on my channel, I figured I'd share some of those with you guys. Uh, to uh, let you know what I can see on my end as far as the channel. Um, first of all, my first subscriber, <laughs> subscriber number one, <laughs> was the soybean farmer. So a lot of you guys are subscribed to his channel and watch his channel uh, down in the Carolinas. Uh, he has some pretty interesting stuff and uh, it's a pretty neat channel to watch. So like I said, subscriber one was the soybean farmer. So. <laughs> Um, I did talk I did talk in uh, I think it was the video the 2017 harvest review video I did tell everybody uh, kind of how I got started on YouTube uh, what got me into putting my first video online um, <clears throat> a couple uh, neat things that happened to my channel and really helped it grow um, as I was posting videos I'll share those also um, I think it was the 986 uh, bale and hay racing the rain video uh, was shared on Facebook. Uh, I think it was Horsepowers uh, shared that video, and that kind of got me up to my first hundred subscribers. Uh, I was very young at that time in the channel and didn't have very many subscribers or views, but that uh, got me to the first hundred subscribers. I'm pretty sure that was that. Um, then it was kind of just a gradual increase. I hit 300 subscribers. And uh, I don't know where this video was shared. To this day, I don't know. I can't find it. I looked through all the analytics. But my video of the uh, 850 Massey Ferguson Combine, combining corn, the day I went up to my neighbors and recorded uh, him uh, harvesting corn, that video was shared somewhere. It had to have been. <laughs> I just hit 300 subscribers. And I just filmed that video. Uh, it was the one right after the Combine versus Train Part 2. Um, I posted it and I had like 50 views and I went to bed and the next day I woke up and it was over 2,000 views. And I had another jump in subscribers. Uh, the uh, watch time went way up. Um, th to this day, that video is getting close to 10,000 uh, views and I don't know I don't know where it was shared. I, I haven't been able to figure that out yet. So that definitely helped um, the channel. Uh, I quickly went up to 500 subscribers. And then from there, it was pretty much just to uh, grind it out. Just put up videos of uh, things that are interesting. Um, I do like this daily vlog. Um, it's not, I, I don't want anybody to think I'm just doing it to get more views and more watch time. I really like every day talking to you guys, making a video, of where I am, what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> like I say, I work by myself, and I'm by myself at a lot of the time. Um, there's days that go by that I don't see anybody. <laughs> and I like it that way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like uh, the farm here, and I really like that it's private, and I can work a whole day. And uh, believe me, I, I've worked jobs with uh, hundreds of employees, and you just, I don't know. It's the farmer, I guess, in me that I just like being by myself. I like working by myself and I like the privacy, but 
with that being said, <laughs> I really like to talk to you guys as I'm going about my day. So um, I have an audience for what I'm doing. And if I'm doing something um, that doesn't get recorded and put on YouTube, um, I feel like I'm I'm uh, missing telling you guys something or uh, I'm leaving you guys out of uh, something that's going on uh, anyway I'm just rambling here I don't want to make this video too too long but um, I really enjoy it um, I did take the video down about me crying about the uh, monetization I, I totally misunderstood the, the email um, my watch time qualifies and as of, as of yesterday I guess uh, I, I just got my channel through um, I just meet the new standards. Um, it's not like you're making a lot of money on YouTube, but it, like I say, it does make it more fun. Uh, in the comments in that video, I did post a clip of somebody explaining it, and uh, he basically said it the best way. That little bit of, of income makes it even all the more fun. It's a little morale boost um, to kind of uh, let you know that you're doing something interesting and people are watching it. it it's something that helps you. It, it's not helping financially. Don't. It's, it's not a. <laughs> this is not a money-making endeavor by any stretch of the imagination. And for what I've made, like I say, it has hardly made a difference. But what it does do for me is it kind of gives me some uh, some more uh, motivation uh, to keep making videos interesting. Um, that I'm getting paid by YouTube to do this even though it's little it's nice and it keeps me motivated um, so anyway yeah like I said uh, we finally hit a thousand I want to thank you I was going to try to make some type of video uh, for the thousand subscribers I have something in the works but I'm nowhere near done with it so I'll try to get that up eventually it's uh, kind of a slideshow of my Massey 750 combine before it was hit by the train um, so I'll get that up uh, when it's done uh, tomorrow I'll just I put together a winter blues video um, I know a lot of guys do that I don't mean to copy anybody but <clears throat> like I said with farming everybody's doing the same thing mostly with farming a lot of farmers do the exact same thing um, there is a lot of things that cross over from one channel to another and uh, I don't know any farmer that doesn't get the winter blues and wants to be out in the sunshine and uh, <laughs> working in the field so anyway i'm done rambling those are some of the things that i've been able to see on my end the mufflers here we'll have a video on the muffler install and getting that rusted one off um what else did i want to say i there's something else i want to say uh oh i have a video again coming of the uh dodge the overview on this truck somebody requested it i have to get it up um i did have one up and it's gone the other thing i want to apologize to some of my uh uh, people I subscribe to for some reason I was unsubscribed to about five or six different channels and I just realized that uh, Larson Valley Farm was one uh, Josh Timer was one um, one lonely farmer I was unsubscribed from I don't unsubscribe from anybody I have so many subscriptions I've probably subscribed to a hundred different channels or more um, also non even non farm channels that I watch so if I would be uh, unsubscribed from somebody, it might take a while till I realize it. So anyway, enjoy the video coming up uh, and thank you everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it and uh, I'm not going to uh, say I'm gonna change things because I have more viewers. I'm just gonna keep it, keep PA Farms uh, doing what I'm doing. Um, so thanks for watching. All right guys, well we got an issue here snowed uh, six and a half inches overnight so I have the uh, I just pumped that tire up I'm gonna try it and see uh, how long it's gonna last if, uh, like I said I'm getting a new tire and rim so if it does go completely flat I just have to drive it back in and put more air in it so uh, Starting today a little bit better, so I'm gonna stop talking here and uh, try to get some of the snow pushed around. So stay tuned. All right, well so far so good. The tire's holding. The tube is bulging out of the rim, so I don't have much time, but I didn't have to go back for air. So yeah, this is just a short uh, clip I'll mix in. I'm trying to get this done. It's cold today. So thanks for watching. All right, I want to get footage of this thing in action. I didn't just just, just didn't. Oh, my face is frozen. Just didn't get a chance. Um, 
with it being so cold here i want to keep my gloves on so maiden voyage of this thing in the snow pretty good um it is a nice i'll tell you what the size of this thing i've operated a lot of loaders uh i don't want you don't want you guys to think all i ever had was an 8n ford and a 2001 loader right on the dairy between the dairy farms i worked on uh different jobs i've had over the years i had a chance to operate many different loaders uh uh, New Holland's, uh, Ford's, uh, Case, hey, you name it, uh, 2250 Internationals. Um, so I had a lot of experience with uh, loading uh, stuff, manure and dirt, and even a little bit of construction work with uh, backhoes and stuff. But I have to say, for, for this being such a little tractor, like I said, it's only 45 horsepower. Um, this loader is in no way clumsy. And I like how fast it is. It's it's a pretty fast acting loader. There's no lag. Uh, you pull the lever and it goes. Uh, it's real nice. Uh, and and uh, in addition to being fast, you still can kind of feather it. It's not totally uh, jerky or jumpy. I know I always had a problem with some of the New Holland skid loaders with the foot controls. If you were trying to be uh, delicate with uh, spreading stone or something, <laughs> your feet always aren't as uh, touchy as your hands, especially when you got uh, big rubber boots on and stuff. But no, I'm happy with this. Uh, it's not clumsy at all. Uh, it is a little front heavy, but not much. Uh, I didn't. I don't have the tire chains on, and I was driving through the six inches of snow here or there. And uh, I mean, the tires will spin, but uh, you can basically push until the bucket's full so far. So I still want to get a weight bracket. It'll make it a little bit handier. I will put the tire chains on. I did get a set of tire chains. They're over there that came with it. Um, so started up a little easier today that's probably because i had it running the other day um the battery was charged up i didn't use any ether um so yeah i i got it back in here i just had enough air in to finish and it was just squirting out calcium everywhere there's a spot in there and the top of the rim is uh all blown out there were chips blowing out while i was uh putting air in but it made it so i have it back up on the jack with the valve stem to the top so uh if we get any snowstorms from now until i can go get that tire uh down at zimmerman's uh should be okay so other than being out in the open it's my only complaint but um that's uh i've done it for how many years so you get you get used to it i guess so yeah i, I would have liked to get some more uh video scoop and snow but like i say i'm kind of in a hurry i have somebody coming here today so i had to get a parking space open and the mailman comes at the same time every day and he has a hard time turning around if i don't have an area cleared so how to keep it moving and i didn't want the tire to go flat on me because i didn't want to have to try to get air in it again so anyway uh thank you guys for watching i appreciate it um like i say we got about seven inches uh snow it was uh, the Weather Channel only forecast about, what was it? It started out, it was going to be a coating. And then it was an inch. Then it was two to four. Then it was three to six. Then they were up to seven. And then finally a winter weather advisory. <laughs> so it's not deep enough to cover the corn stalks. But we got uh, the first, uh, first job. And the actual thing I bought this for uh, was plowing snow also. So... I'm happy with it so far. Muffler's coming. I did order one. Um, but other than that, uh, I guess we're, this is where I'll end it. So thanks, guys.